you must be thinking that you've got all of it about SOQL. But let me tell you, there's still one thing that you're left with. That is dynamic SOQL. Dynamic SOQL is basically SOQL that you generate on runtime. Let me give you uh, an example that when you need to generate SQL query or create SQL query on runtime. Imagine you uh, you're creating a page and then on that page you're giving uh, your user uh, an option to select the object on which you want uh, like th that page will show the records of any object that the user will select and it can include any fields that the user will select. So in that case you need to generate the SQL query dynamically. So how are you going to do that? that you'll do with the help of dynamic SOQL. Let me like explain you how dynamic SOQL query gets created and how it returns the records uh, based on your user's input uh, with the help of this example. So let's have a look. Over here, I've just created a string. String S is equals to select name from account. So this is a string. String can be created at runtime. And it can be literally anything. And this string needs to be passed inside this database.query function. So inside this database.query function, I'm going to pass string, this string as a parameter. And when I pass this string as a parameter, it will return me the result as it used to give me with the help of like when I used to write down this SQL query inside that uh, square bracket. So it will work exactly the same. But when it comes to string, like earlier, uh, we used to write down the SQL query statically. So object was fixed. The fields that you're going to fetch were fixed. Uh, like the condition uh, can be manipulated, but the fields inside the condition was fixed. But in here, it can be different because it's about manipulating a string. And how well you can manipulate a string is how well you'll create a SQL query dynamically. So over here, I have an example, creating a query string dynamically. So I've written down select ID. Um, in this QR and after that I have created an array or a list of string uh, which is named as field list and I have added different different fields that I want to query. So imagine from that page uh, users are selecting different different fields or different different objects of that uh, different different yeah one object and different different fields from that uh, particular object. So all of those fields will be added inside this list uh, like this uh, field list dot add name dot number of employees phone yeah okay. And then uh, I'm going to get the object's name in another string, string obg name. And now with this loop, what I'm doing is I'm just creating uh, or I'm just creating a uh, SQL query dynamically. So qr plus equals to comma and then f. So f is nothing but the different different fields that I have added into this particular field list. So initially it was select id. Now it will be select id comma f. F has name right now, so it will be uh, select ID comma name. And then again, I'm going to add uh, another uh, field with the same statement because this is a loop. So now it will be select ID comma name comma number of employees. And then after that, select ID comma name comma uh, number of employees comma phone. So this is how the, this QR will be changed. And at the end, I'm going to append or I'm going to add QR plus equals to uh, from and then the object name. So this will complete the SQL query dynamically that I have written down over here. And at uh, the end, uh, I do not have to do anything. I just need to pass this string inside this function, which is called as database.query. And inside this uh, function, I'm going to write down uh, the string that I need to pass. And uh, this will uh, execute and this will return the result similar to the static SQL query that, you used to, that we used to write down earlier. But you must be thinking that what if that uh, like what if the string uh, that I am generating or that I am creating dynamically uh, is not right or is not appropriate. User can give any kind of input. So what I'm going to do at that moment. So let me tell you what, what's going to happen uh, when the string that you're passing into database.query function is not correct uh, uh, syntax, uh, syntax wise. So at, at that point it will generate a query exception at runtime. So over here, I write down select name comma phone number uh, from account. So this phone number, there is no such field as phone number into account object. So this will return a query exception. This will definitely return a query exception. So you can just write down this uh, database.query function inside a try catch block, uh, which will help you like 
yeah which will actually help you to get over this query exception but uh, yeah you need to create a program uh, so that that the execution of the program does not halt and uh, does not generate any error uh, while you are executing it so the, uh, i mean the best way to do that is just write it down inside a try catch block and this is how dynamic sql queries work